protected finishers. I was watching something uh, about on Baron Corbin about how he protects the end of days and how he had a conversation with Undertaker, I think it was. Uh, and any advice that you could give him, and he said, protect your finisher. Some of the I I can't really think of a lot of finishers in our days that are so protected that it's like a one and done situation, except for end of days. It's the only one I can think of is end of days. I feel like it's kind of a weird thing. Unless I guess you really create something that's never been done before, which I can't imagine is easy to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because there are so many people who are professional wrestlers, whether they're in the big leagues or they're not. So it's like, it's really hard to say that you ever came up with anything that was unique, but I do think it's like kind of weird, I guess, because it's like, w- what's the purpose exactly like what are you trying to prevent from happening or what do you think of yourself like why do you think of yourself so highly that you you're like no one else can do this it's like everyone no, it's, does. i thought it was protected as in you can't kick out of it oh is that what that means yeah that's oh yeah protected finishers yeah oh you, you, i thought you, it like, meant like gonna... no one else can use no, it. no 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 it's like baron corbin hits the end of days end of match that's it but even that though like why is that your decision though you know what I mean? Because like every top, oh, so many top guys have kicked, have someone kick out of their finisher. So I just, that's I don't know. I, it's like, and that's the thing. I can't think of anything, but it's like, I, I feel, I get it to a certain extent, but I feel like that would mean that you shouldn't use your finisher that much. Like that one, exactly. that much, because I think then it's like, okay, then everyone's going to catch on that when Baron does the end of days, it's over. You know what yeah. I mean? It would be more of like something that, uh, you know, cause like even, you, you know, he, you said he asked about the undertaker, the undertaker had a few finishers. So it was like, exactly. you know, you didn't know if it was going to be the um, choke slam. You didn't know if it was going to be the tombstone. Like you didn't know what was going to be the end. And so I think that made it okay. Uh, but if, you know, with Baron, it's like, if it's just the end of days, then I find that to be a little bit problematic because it's like, you use that in like every match, dude. Like, it's like, I think of only, I'm not gonna lie though. I think only a few people have ever kicked out. Of it. I think Drew McIntyre is the like only one who's kicked out of it. And it's like, that's Drew McIntyre. Maybe. It's exactly. Which, yeah. And that's, the I thing, think one like, or two, maybe Seth, but like, it's, it's going to depend on who it is. And exactly. we have to remember like Baron Corbin went down back down to NXT for a reason. So he wasn't treated the way that maybe he wanted to be treated on the main roster. So of course people kicked out. Yeah. Um, maybe he can hold that now, but I just, I'm still not confident that he's going to come from NXT back to the main roster and be anything. But um, yeah, only, I, I, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. The only other ones I can think of off the top of my head are Goldberg's spear into a jackhammer. That thing was. What about the Samoan like... spike? Is that a thing? Is anyone kicked out of that? No, I solo maybe. Oh, I can't. I don't. I think anyone has an Umaga. Even the only person I remember who's kicked out of it is Cena. Of course. <laughs> Which there you go. Who yeah. Talked about protecting. And that's the thing too. I think you have to be like, if you want to protect your finisher, I think first of all, you have to establish yourself to a certain degree within yeah. the company or whatever. Because like Baron Corbin, like no disrespect, but like you're not John Cena, you're not The Undertaker, you're not The Rock, you're not Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know what I mean? Um, so it's kind of like weird of all people for you to be like, oh, no one can kick out of my finisher. It's like you're Baron Corbin. Like, I don't know what you're saying. Um, but yeah, I think there's a time and place for that to be relevant i guess i don't mm-hmm. know 